This episode of eHealth Radio is brought to you by Unatural, empowering your health no matter the season or reason. Breathe by Unatural makes it easier to do just that. Our super simple, no nonsense formula helps improve the function and health of your lungs naturally. A time tested supplement formulated specifically for sinus, nasal, and lung support. Breathe in. Ah, enter eHealth 15 at checkout for 15% off at unatural.com. Again, that's eHealth15 for 15% off at eunatural.com. This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the eHealth Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels, eHealth Radio, gives you the most current health information, news, and advice featuring some of the leading innovators in healthcare and wellness who are changing healthcare as we know it. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. Today, we're speaking with Mr. Art Cooksey, the founder and CEO of Let's Talk Interactive, a provider of customizable telehealth solutions, including a sophisticated HIPAA-compliant video conferencing platform kiosks, medical carts, virtual clinics, and more. Their mission is to enable providers to offer care at any time from any location in the world. Mr. Cooksey, thanks for joining us here today on Health Radio. Thank you so much for having me on. Well, certainly is our pleasure. Looking forward to learning a few things here today. So as we know, telehealth has really taken off since the pandemic hit. The demand alone in the U.S. expected to increase by 64% in the country alone now. When did you get involved in telehealth technology? And in your opinion, how is it evolving since COVID-19? Well, it's a great question. And I got involved in telehealth actually at the turn of the century. So I started developing, um, I came out of the communications industry and started developing a way for mental health providers to connect as I realized that there was a shortage in this country. Um, I was a little ahead of my time and Wi-Fi wasn't there and you know, people weren't comfortable with uh, doing video type of calls. But flash forward uh, to 2017, we really started seeing technology break out, Wi-Fi, cell phones with the video, you know, capabilities. People were FaceTiming and Skyping. So uh, adoption of the, of the infrastructure, if you will, started happening around 2016, 2017. Uh, with COVID hitting, it really just, lit a fire uh, to telehealth. So I would say that it's, it's, it's moved um, telehealth ahead quite a bit. Uh, for example, we, we used to talk about telehealth and really show uh, case studies and things like that to explain why telehealth was a good option. And today it's pretty much accepted. So it's, a, it's an exciting time. And, you know, for the unfortunate, you know, event of COVID, it's really made this accessible to more people. Certainly some different times, and telehealth certainly is a key player right now in the space. Now, what key areas should people look for in a telehealth platform, and how does Let's Talk Interactive fit into those areas? There's two different ways of looking at it. Um, from the provider side, they're, they're looking for security. They're looking for HIPAA compliance. They're looking for an easy platform to use, something that can be – basically a virtual office where they have documents and sign, uh, be able to take patient signatures, do intakes, uh, store the documents safely and securely. Uh, so, you know, that's and take payments from patients and track sessions and time and things like that. From the patient's point of view, it's really having access to a number of providers. Um, it's uh, having ease of use in that security and an easy way to conduct a transaction. So, you know, our platform is really built around that, and and that's what makes it different. And we also really understand, you know, when it comes to an enterprise solution, what our customers need, and we develop the product and customize it specifically to their needs. Now, for those that have never used telemedicine or are considering using it, walk us through what a telemedicine visit would look like. So... Um, imagine your doctor is in their private office and they are on their computer and, um, and the patient is somewhere else. Um, they could be anywhere, really, where there's high-speed Internet and it's 3G or better. And so let's say that the patient is at a, a kiosk, if you will, 
and uh, sitting there in front of the kiosk, the doctor in this scenario would have the ability to uh, manipulate the camera, pan, tilt, zoom, things like that. They would have access to blood pressure, EKG, pulse ox, um, you know, different devices that could really help um, drive some analytics over to the doctor. That doctor can see this real time from their office safely. Uh, and you can take it, you know, outside of a kiosk to a doctor having a follow-up uh, with a patient who had surgery or with a patient that's not feeling well, and instead of having them come into the office, they can have a virtual visit. So, you know, those are some of the ways that uh, telehealth is, is really uh, being adopted and being utilized today. So it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. Certainly do appreciate all the information so far, most helpful. Now, the name says it all, Breathe. You Natural's potent lung support supplement made by medical and herbal professionals makes it easier to do just that. Formulated for sinus, nasal, and immune health, same 15% with eHealth15 at unatural.com. Try it risk-free for 90 days with code eHealth15, again, at EUNatural. Dot com. Today we're visiting with Mr. Art Cooksey, the founder and CEO of Let's Talk Interactive, a provider of customizable telehealth solutions, including a sophisticated HIPAA-compliant video conferencing platform, kiosks, medical cards, virtual clinics, and much more. And he's joined us here today on eHealth Radio's telehealth and healthcare channels, a part of the eHealth Radio network. Now, if you would, Mr. Cooksey, tell us about the areas where telehealth can be most impactful to people beyond primary care practitioners and hospitals? You know, it's amazing um, all the areas that telehealth can, can touch, but we've put, um, put it in schools. We did a deployment of 63 kiosks in the Florida Panhandle to public schools for mental health. Um, we've deployed to Soldier On, which supports veterans, foster care, uh, first responders, uh, rugged uh, telemedicine kits that can be mobile and can be charged with the sun, so they're deployed for COVID and for hurricanes, uh, child welfare, uh, family check-ins, things like that, emergency services, you know, obviously hospitals are there, but urgent cares, uh, some of these remote uh, rural clinics, senior assisted living and home care, and um, it, it just seems like the use cases are endless. It's it's whenever you need to have a, a secure connection with someone, uh, telehealth is a reasonable way to go. So it's, it's just ever growing. Yes, sir. I totally agree with you. And I can only see it being not only convenient, but the way to go for sure, especially with all that's going on here this calendar year. Now, what does the future hold for telehealth and telemedicine looking ahead? And, and where will we be using it where we're not using it today? Well, COVID really triggered a lot of things. And one of the things COVID triggered was licensure, uh, you know, for the states, reimbursement for telehealth sessions. And some of this is going through legislation as we speak. And we're looking for, you know, determination, I guess, and, and maybe it's finally gone through. But I saw some of the bills where um, they really want to make reimbursement for telehealth an ongoing thing. You know, we've got the Compact Act where 29 states have now have reciprocity for doctors and their licensure. You know, I think that's going to expand to all 50 states. It doesn't make sense when you have uh, shortages to limit your doctors to a geographical state when they have the access to telehealth services like this. So I think, um, you know, telehealth is just going to be become a bigger part of our lives. And the way we seek healthcare and, and maybe the way we seek recovery and other things that go along with it. But it's, um, you know, it's here to stay. And I see the industry uh, ad adopting to it and accepting it, insurance companies reimbursing for it. So, you know, once the money's there for reimbursement, it's really going to drive, um, you know, other people to embrace this and, and adopt it into their business models. Mr. Cooksey, we can't thank you enough for what you do in the space on behalf of Let's Talk Interactive and for joining us here today. In conclusion, any closing thoughts, a takeaway, a tip, anything else you'd like to share along the lines of our conversation today? Well, it's an exciting time for healthcare. It's an exciting time for patient care. I think um, healthcare is really starting to embrace the other part, which is mental health, and taking that into account when they're looking at someone's health. 
especially in these times where people are isolated and uh, separated and scared and, you know, it just seems like there's so much going on in the media. And so, you know, doctors have really started to embrace um, doing an awareness of where you are mentally when they do those uh, physical checks. And I think we're going to see more of that. It's just an exciting time to be involved in healthcare. And it's a really exciting time to help people that have had limited access in the past really be able to break down those geographical barriers and get access to quality providers that, that they're in desperate need of in some cases. Mr. Cooks, I really appreciate you getting us up to speed on telehealth, and I can only see the advantages in us being much more healthier overall by being able to tap into telehealth and its options. Where can listeners get all the information on Let's Talk Interactive online and also be in contact as needed? So letstalkinteractive.com is our website, and it's packed full of information, and there's ways to contact us through the website as well. Or if you want to send me an email directly, you can send it at AC uh, for Art Cooksey at letstalkinteractive.com. And I look forward to uh, answering any questions or helping in any way as, as you um, enter into a complex way, which is can be simplified uh, into your practice and the way that you deliver your services. Again, listeners, it is Let's Talk Interactive.com. Mr. Cooksey, all the best, and thanks for joining us here today on Health Radio. Thank you so much, and have a great day. And you as well. We've been speaking with Mr. Art Cooksey, the founder and CEO of Let's Talk Interactive, a provider of customizable telehealth solutions, including a sophisticated HIPAA-compliant video conferencing platform, kiosks, medical carts, virtual clinics, and more. And for all the details, visit Let's Talk Interactive.com. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the eHealth Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com. This episode of eHealth Radio was brought to you by Unatural, empowering your health. The name says it all. Breathe. Unatural's potent lung support supplement made by medical and herbal professionals makes it easier to do just that. Formulated for sinus, nasal, and immune health. Save 15% off with eHealth15 at unatural.com. Try it risk-free for 90 days with code eHealth15 at eunatural.com.